my name is Rebecca Smith and I am a senior music therapy student here at Cleveland State University and I've finished my classes in spring 2021 and then I'm starting my internship in July at University Hospitals. What stood out to me about music therapy it's that it's a newer profession. It actually started in World War II with veterans who were suffering from PTSD. So it's a newer profession and it's growing and it's evolving and I thought that it could be used one day to help athletes either with their pregame anxiety or maybe postgame um, relaxation. When people ask me what music therapy is, I normally use a short answer by explaining that it's using music to achieve a non-musical goal. Just as if you have broken your leg, for example, you would go to a physical therapist and they would help you maybe walk again. This summer, I got a research award to work with an athlete and it's been really enjoyable and I feel like there's a lot of research that can happen with athletes and because of my background in sports, my professors knew about that and helped me get this opportunity. One of the techniques we use in music therapy is called improvisation and Improvisation is something that's great for a client who may be struggling with self-expression. For example, if they're in the hospital setting and they just received maybe bad news about their diagnosis and they're having struggles uh, processing their emotions, self-expression is a great avenue for a music therapist to help that client uh, relax and process their emotions. So in improvisation, on the piano especially, um, we, there's this thing called the pentatonic scale and there's five keys in the pentatonic scale. So if the music therapist plays something um, on the pentatonic scale, you see that there is no clashing. It was all sounded like it kind of went together. So if the music therapist plays something down here, they can invite the client to play any of these notes up here and it will sound like it goes with what the music therapist is doing. And that's a great way for the client to express themselves in a safe way, um, but also collaborate with the music therapist at the same time. Learning about music therapy has helped me personally because a lot of the textbooks and professors here at CSU really talk about self-care and taking care of yourself first because if you're not healthy mentally, physically, and emotionally as a therapist, then how can you be there for your clients? And uh, learning about all of that has helped me become a better therapist because I've learned how to take better care of myself. I'm excited to start my internship at university hospitals for six months and then I'll be fully graduated from CSU and I'm looking to work with athletes in the future with music therapy.